This is the Inspired by ACDC1 solo lesson. Um, you'll see if you look at the uh, tab and the, the music notation that it's uh, a quite a repetitive solo I've put together here. Um, it's so you can learn certain techniques um, that come along with general guitar, rock and blues guitar playing, but also um, particular to the artist we're sort of uh, uh, tipping our hat to. Um, so we start off with the first bar of this, um, and you can see that there's a repeating uh, little motif, um, which is this. And it's started by playing the seventh note on the G string with your third finger, and you bend that note up a whole tone. That's why it's got a, a full mark next to the arrow. Okay, so we're going from this note to this target note. If you don't bend far enough, or too far, you will hear it. No one wants to hear that. So just get right on that tone, you can check yourself. Okay, and then once you bend that note, bring your first finger in on the top two strings, the B and the E string, at the fifth fret, and you do a mini bar with that one finger. And then with down strokes, play each note individually. And that's the whole pattern, really. And as you bend that first note up, and let go, I put a little bit of palm muting on with my picking hand to stop that note. So you haven't got like, too messy. So. And you get that uh, really rock and roll kind of rhythm in there. And the only difference we do there uh, on the first two bars is uh, when we play the last pattern, the last motif of the uh, the bent seventh fret and the uh, fifth frets on the top two strings, is that last note. Be becomes a half note. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? So. And if you notice there, I'm using all downstrokes. Um, I think it lends to the urgency and the power of um, of the piece. So um, all downstrokes are quite 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 all right on this. Um, and we do that uh, for four bars because the A lasts for four bars, um, and then we change to the D uh, chord that comes in on the ninth fret, and we use another very common sort of rock and rolly um, idea that uh, Angus uses a lot. And they're straight like one and two and three and four and so that it's an eighth note lick. Okay, so what, what we're doing, we're putting a little diagonal shape in, just a two finger, uh, almost like a dyad. We're putting the first finger on the eighth fret of the B string, and your second finger comes to the ninth fret of your G string. So you've got that little shape going on like that. And we play that eight times. But we'd count it in this instant as one and two and three and four and, one and two and three and four and, one and two and three and four and. Okay, but what we're gonna do, just to add um, some dynamics to that and a little bit of movement, we're gonna slide in to that first shape from perhaps one or two frets below, sort of. Two frets down is quite nice. And that is the phrase um, in the ninth uh, bar that's shown. 
in the tab in the notation. Okay. Used time and time again uh, um, in rock and blues and, and rock and roll um, and rock and billy guitar. And it, you're soon getting into like Chuck Berry, um, um, Johnny Be Good, no particular place to go, that kind of thing. Okay, but for our uh, song um, uh, and our Angus inspired solo. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay. That takes us uh, merrily along to the bar 10 where we just put in a simple four note uh, lick. Sort of a joining lick really from a busy lick uh, back to that uh, busy lick. So. This lick, 10th uh, fret, is, uh, as I said, very straightforward. 7th fret on the G string with the 3rd finger, down to the 5th fret on the same string with the 1st finger. Bring that 3rd finger across to uh, the D string, um, a string nearer to you, 7th fret, and then back to the 3rd fret with the 1st finger. So those two um, little phrases together are okay. That brings us uh, up to bar twelve now, and we return to our original um, rock and roll lick, uh, the seventh fret, and we play through that um, whole sequence twice. So for four bars, because each sequence is two bars. So. We play that twice, and then we go on to um, the final little phrase uh, to finish this off. Which is, incorporates um, an open string, but it's a, it's a simple little um, lick. We start with the third fret um, on the B string, and I'm using my second finger here. And if we forget, were to forget about that top open E string, the actual phrase is really straightforward. You slide from the third fret on the B string to the fifth fret. So, and then back down again. So we've got. do is just to slowly pick up this lick. Um, it's not about uh, the difficulty of where your fingers have got to go on the notes because there, basically there's only two notes. Um, but it's the timing. Sound slice um, is great for this. So go to the uh, the, the main sound slice um, production we've got on this um, and just loop this bit and you can slow it down but it is But what we're going to do, we're going to incorporate the top open E string as well. So we're going to hit the two strings. And that top E against either the D or the E that we're playing uh, with the fretted notes. So you're coming from uh, a D to an E. So. Gives it a lovely gnarly feel, and there's a, almost a slightly like a sitar. Okay, so the most important piece there, uh, or thing to remember, is because we're sliding up and down, we want that top E um, to really ring out, is this finger. You've really got to get that arch over. Fingertips and arches again, as in the chords. Because if, if we were to put it too much at an angle, It's going to make all manner of uh, noises that we don't want. We want. 
Might be an idea, and it's also a good thing to do. You have to experiment with everything, you know, come up with your own ideas. But you could do, once you're uh, confident enough, change it slightly and individually pick the two notes. That's a good way to check that both both notes, especially that that top E, is ringing clear. Um, as well as using down strokes, which is fine, to give you a real choppy effect. If you want to lighten the effect up a bit, how about trying some uh, alternate picking? It's up to you. Experiment with it. Um, all I'm doing here is uh, showing you guidelines and trying to show you some stuff that will take you on to your own playing. I mean, you don't want to sound like anyone else. You don't want to sound like, well, you definitely don't want to sound like me. Um, but we pick up our influences from the, the, the guitarists we love and the music we love, and that's fine. But then try and do your own thing with it. Try and put your own little quirk to it. You won't come up with anything earth shatteringly new, um, believe me, because it's all been done. Um, there are only 12 notes in Western music and we know how to use most of them. Uh, but have a play around with this. Um, long back and track um, so you can uh, try around with ideas uh, and come up with your own stuff.